Hello. So today I upgraded this guy here to the latest Butterfly development version. I believe it's 3.6.2 um, from Helio. And it also has the special IMUF version with the FU mode enabled. I hear that can handle uh, vibrations and bent props and all kinds of stuff like that really well. And I've been having some problems with this, um, especially when it's a little bit breezy, it shakes around a lot. So I'm really curious to see if that will help me or not. So here's my first test flight with that enabled. Armed and ready to go. And I think it still wobbles around a bit in the wind. I don't think that made any difference. It's just not too windy today, so it's harder to tell. All right, I should do some punch outs, do some quick rolls. Let's roll to the left. Let's do a quick roll to the right. That looks good. I won't really be able to tell how well it looks with the HD footage until I, I land and take a look at that later. Oh, it's close to the ground there. Whoa, I might have hit that tree just a little bit. Hard to see the scraggle today. Let's fly under these trees. Maybe a little bit of a back flip here. Power loop over the top of the tree. It does feel nice, but I haven't flown in a while. So I'm not quite sure what that should feel like. I feel like there might be a little bit of a wobble, but it's not too bad. Do some sort of fast turns. I don't usually race, so that's not not something I'm really good at. bit of proc wash if I push it really hard. Oh, my battery is not thrilled with me. But it's also getting colder out, so the voltages are lower than normal. That tree right there is hard to see all the branches. complaining that I should really try to land. Oh, time to come back. Alright, for this battery I have the IMUF aggressive filtering on pitch and roll disabled, which I had enabled for that first flight. Um, curious to see if it makes any difference in the black box logs. Look at the horizon, fly forward. Doesn't look too bad. But I really only note I notice it the most when there's wind. Saw some flags moving on the way down here, but now if I look at this watery pond, it, it looks pretty calm. It's usually the best test, just flying steady forward, mid-throttle. Uh, it's hard to tell. 
really going to have to look at the HD footage afterwards. There might be a little bit of weirdness. A little bobble on that left roll. Well, I don't really have much else to say. It's flying pretty nice. And at least in this uh, FPV display, I'm not really seeing any issues with the horizon bobbling around. But that's something, like I said, I'll check up a lot more in the HD feed. It's just that I haven't been flying in a while, or haven't been to this spot lately, but <laughs> having a good time flying this around. It seems to be responding and going exactly where I want it to. No crashes so far, so that's always good. Even though I've gotten really low and close to the ground. But my battery is complaining, so I better bring it in. And land. All right. Well, that's it for the two batteries I brought today, and they both seem to fly pretty well. You have to take a look at the the HD footage to see if there's really much of a difference or not. But it felt great. <laughs>